Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to uh, take a brief moment to let you know what we're up to today. Because of the good response of our last stealth video, camping behind an electrical transformer in an ice storm, which you should check out if you want, um, we're going to go out and find a couple more good stealth camping spots. So, uh, go out during the day, uh, lighting's not going to be an issue. Uh, we don't have to go into super stealth mode like we do when we're actually shooting the stealth videos. So, uh, if anyone ever asks, our cover is just I'm a Maltese tourist taking beautiful pictures of Canada, which is uh, actually fairly true. So, in any event, uh, I wanted to also say that uh, uh, I'm going to throw this out here that as soon as uh, this channel hits 50 subscribers uh, I commit to go take a swim in the ocean and you got to remember we're in Canada and it's January so that ocean is uh, pretty cold right now and uh, but I really appreciate you guys watching and hopefully we can uh, get some people to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I got that idea of swimming in the ocean from a guy by the name of uh, Bull Hansen. You should check out some of his videos. Also just wanted to mention uh, just a quick shout out to a guy by the name of Steve Wallace, uh, stealth camper. I think he's based out of Edmonton, Canada. He's uh, given me the inspiration to make these videos. So, without any further uh, discussion, let's go out and uh, Check out a couple of locations. The first one's going to be a ravine surrounded by condos, and the second location is going to be an urban forest nearby. So let's head out and go check these out. Okay, guys, just before we hit the streets, I'm going to show you what my setup is like. Um, shooting on a Panasonic HS80 full HD camcorder. Uh, I've got it mounted on a Dynex tripod, um, which I've had that for a long time. I should probably invest in a new tripod. Uh, in addition to the camera, what I always bring along with me on these adventures is a uh, got a Swiss Army knife, a multi tool, multi head screwdriver. It's just a fold up cloth that I can use to uh, wipe my lens, etc. Uh, the bottom row here we've got a mag light, a lighter, some electrician's tape. Uh, I've got a whistle with a compass on one side and a thermometer on the other. And then finally a striker to make fire. So we also have uh, some bushcraft tools in that pack there that we're going to show you later in the video once we get into the urban forest. Anyway, let's hit the streets and uh, get this video started. Okay, for the benefit of those guys that uh, have not seen uh, our um, last video, this is where we did it. We're going to start off our walk today, right where we left off last time. A uh, clump of trees, right beside a condo. We had to book it out of here last time because the cops are at the end of the street. Um, just dealing with, uh, we had a major ice storm and we're on a hill and the they were just dealing with some cars that had gotten stuck there that shouldn't have been there in the first place. Anyway, so uh, I think we'll just take a quick duck right back in there right now and uh, get a better view of where we were the other night because I don't feel like I gave it, uh, uh, did it justice because it was so dark, etc. when we were there and then we had to book it in the morning. So anyway, we'll go back in and I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what it looked like. Okay, I've got the camera off the tripod and I'm trying to look as casual as possible. I don't think anyone's going to see us. That's where the cops were when we came out in the morning. These are the condos that surround this area and we're going to see a lot more of those when we get over to the ravine. Shot of the ocean. It's still snowing here. Normally BC is not supposed to get this kind of weather. Let's go in here. So it's a transformer. You can see the green box. And uh, uh, as you can see there's a condo to the right, right through there. 
And then there's a condo down to the left here. Right down in through there, but you know, complete shelter behind here. All that snow is gone. Man, that was a cold night. I wished I had my vector pad, but I was trying to pack it light because that was super stealth. And uh, right through there is uh, the adjoining property. Okay, enough of that, and uh, let's get on to you guys an idea of where we're at. We're in a residential area. Condominiums there. This is our friendly neighbor from the other night. You got more condos down here. And we're going to head straight down that street there. We're going to head straight down that no exit road there to a ravine and check it out. I'm having a heck of a time keeping this lens clear of water in this wet rain, but anyway, we'll go down and see this ravine down at the bottom of about a 300 foot hill here. Got houses, houses all along here, some bush, houses on the other side of the bush huge mansion on this side that takes up the whole block, believe it or not. All the distance that we're going to be walking, that's the length of the house on the right. You can see, it just goes on forever. Oh. not very stealthy. There's not enough people around, so I'm not feeling the vibe here. We're trying to do hardcore stealth camping where you're tied up against uh, humanity and trying not to get uh, caught and at the same time Having a code of conduct that's ethical and, you know, not wanting to hurt anybody or invade on anyone's privacy, that's the main thing. And it's the cops, but boy, oh boy, what a cool place. Let's just have a look here. Okay, so there is a house right there down in this ravine. I'm going to widen it up a bit. That's just... There's the end of that mansion. He'd be looking right down on us. So yeah, there's an element of stealth involved there. But again, just like the ravine, this is the same one that opens up at the ocean. It's just too rugged for this at the ravine. This is a cool ravine. Houses right there. More houses down there. car park there so there's okay houses directly across there oh either a, yeah no just a big big mansion over there looking right down on it and then there's a house down in the ravine there right alongside it that's actually on the other side of the creek so pretty rugged looking I can't imagine uh, that we'd be able to, sure wouldn't be able to set up a tent and be comfortable. I might have to get one of those hang between two trees hammock with a tent over it and we can start tackling some of this stuff because that other night in the snow was that was just brutal. But uh, there wasn't any room at all for a tent back there. Okay, so there's first part of the ravine and it looks good from a stealth but not too good from a practical being able to set up a camp down there. Let's go and find some other one. Okay so we're gonna go check out another access point to the ravine which is right up this street here about a half a block. So 
we'll go see if there's any better spots. It's obviously a good stealth camping area, right in the middle of the major city, and uh, you know, likelihood of people seeing us is probably pretty good. So we got to be on super stealth mode when we actually shoot this video. Okay, here comes the car. Okay. So there's condo, huge up up upraised area over there. No dump. Okay, this is looking good. This is really looking good. Pardon me? What am I up to? Nothing, I'm just a Maltese tourist taking some pictures of beautiful Canada. Have a good day. Okay, that's okay. Inquiring minds want to know. Probably like people like that in every country of the world. They just need to know what's going on. Okay, I mean the only way to do this is to get down in there, I'm going down. Okay, the ground is super soft. But it's, uh, and I'm still on a slope, that's where we came down from up there and we're heading down into the ravine. On what appears to be just, okay well there's our spot right there. Let's see, we can see what. We'll get a camo tarp set up right underneath that bush right there. We'll come late at night and right under that bush right there we'll put a camo tarp. Uh, it's going to be rough. No tent and hopefully the vector somewhere I could curl up next to one of these trees okay I think we've got it so that's what we're gonna do at least for one video okay guys uh, change in plans uh, we're not gonna get to that urban forest today so that's unfortunate but that's gonna be in another video uh, more of a bushcraft style I think in any event we did find a good spot down in that ravine surrounded by the mansions so that's where it's gonna be next time uh, we got to get prepared for it. I want to have a good plan, make sure I got all the right uh, sort of equipment. Uh, I don't think it's going to stop raining and I want to get this done fairly soon. So maybe there's an outer bag that one could put over a sleeping bag uh, to, keep the, to keep me dry in the bag. If, if there is such a thing and you know about it, uh, just put it in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon.